Hey Cancers, it is the Sun Sage back to do your mid-September reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. This will be for Cancer Sun Moon Venus Arising. And those of you who are cross watchers connected to a Cancer Sun Moon Venus Arising. So again, thank you for tuning in. Um, these are general messages that may not resonate for every Cancer, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm going to see what's going on for you guys for the next you know, like week or two, see what's coming in for you. Woo. Okay. I'm not taking that. Um, that like flipped out kind of weird. So I'm not going to take that for you cancers. Um, we're going to see what's coming through for you for this mid cancer energy. All right. Eight of wands movement. All right. Progress in some area of your life is coming in. Definitely changes are coming in with the knight of swords. A uh, Knight of Swords could be rushing in to be with you. Six of Cups. Yes, this is a soulmate connection here from this person. They're ready to offer you something, possibly. We have the Four of Pentacles, um, Eight of Swords. What else do we have for Cancers mid-September? What else do we have for Cancers mid-September? We have the Three of Wheels. And we have the top. This is the card that flipped out kind of weird. That's why sometimes I just take everything because... It's going to come out anyway if it really wants to be seen. So that was the card, um, the tower. So we have the three of wheels, the three of pentacles, the tower. What else do we have for cancers? The star. Okay. So you guys got a lot of Libra energy. Queen of swords at the bottom of the deck here. Um, it's Libra, knight of swords, Libra energy. Um, balance, you know. I feel like in order to restore balance to your life, cancers, um, you may have had to um, cut off a relationship and I feel like it worked. <laughs> All right. I feel like it worked. I feel like this person comes rushing in. This actually feels like two people talking to each other on the phone or messaging each other. And it's good. Like you guys are like, nobody's taking forever to reply. It's like quick replies and um y'all are like having these good conversations so this actually feels really um positive for you especially if it's in a love dynamic um the hermit showing up with the eight of wands you could be talking to someone about you know deep spiritual things right now right having these deep spiritual conversations with the hermit talking about things that you've learned on your journey um, this person could be someone you feel confident opening up to, but lots of changes, right? So I do feel like you have a lot of major arcana here showing up because there is like this fast change coming into your life. Um, someone is, is someone you possibly weren't expecting to turn your life around is doing just that. All right. Or somebody is turning their life around from your influence on them. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Ace of Cups. Yes. Okay. So this is a new love here. This is a new love. This is a lover that you may have a past with, but it feels new. Okay. It feels like you guys maybe had a, a long silence with each other and someone broke the ice, possibly this night here. Someone broke the ice, but it does feel like things have been moving quite swimmingly. Um, why is this night here? All right. I got the page of cups. I got three page of cups. I got the eight of wands. Yeah, that's good communication and the high priestess. So you have the hermit. They have the high priestess. I feel like you're both maybe being shy about your feelings still um not really opening up about that but i do feel like there's a lot of you look good today cancer or i saw you online you looked amazing um when are you you know when are we going to hang out when are we going to do something you know you're welcome to you know that sort of conversation that's happening here um this knight of swords with this pisces energy with this high priestess um i do feel like you guys match each other on a spiritual level you have the hermit again they kind of have this high priestess vibe so there's a mystery here about each other um some things you, you could both be keeping to yourself but i do feel like this is a very strong um you both feel very spiritually strong and spiritually in tune to one another like you knew each other in another life six of cups so what's coming in for you guys is a lot of uh speaking about um um deep spiritual things four of wands also um a lot of you talking about like how you feel about marriage 
expect that conversation, right? Someone is going to ask you how you feel about being married or how you feel about marriage, how you feel about commitment. Um, and they have a purpose in asking that with that high priestess. They're not going to tell you, I'm thinking of marrying you, Cancer, but I think this person really wants to marry you. They feel like they knew you in a different life. They feel like you guys have this connection, this bond here that reminds them of, um, it just feels very familiar. You feel very familiar to them. I think this person is going to be very clear about what they want with you, their intentions with you, with the King of Swords here. All right. Um, they have some, uh, they have, they feel mature. They do. They feel very mature. They feel like they give, you know, like they're very serious, these swords energy, but they get, they, they're sexy. They can get really, you know, they can get very sexy when necessary. This is the type of king where, you know, they always clean up nice. They're always professional. They could be an entrepreneur, cancer, run a, a nice business, but they know how to have a good time as well with the, um, with the, uh, Knight of Wands. They're far from boring over here. And then the conversation feels like it's really good. What's this Knight of Wands with this King of Swords? Um, the Five of Pentacles. So one of the things they may not be sharing with you is they want to know how you feel about marriage because they may have been married before and it didn't work out and they plan to never do that again. Or they may have lost a lot of funds in that marriage. So while you guys are clicking and vibing and it's all going great, you know, their secret with that high priestess could be that they were left out in the cold by someone or their money was taken in a divorce or something like that. And so that's why now they're selfish for a wands or that's why now they don't like to spend a lot. Um, they could, you know, feel like money is in short supply and they got to hold on to what they have. So while this person is vibing with you, Cancer, they may want you to hang in there with them, even if they don't want marriage. For some of you, this person does not want to be married, not because of you, but because of their experience, the six of wands. They feel like a marriage or a relationship where everybody keeps their own funds is, um, is the best type of relationship. So if you guys are looking for somebody who is kind of going to splurge or spend a lot of money, I'm not getting that from this person. Um, I'm not picking up that this person, they feel responsible. Yes, but they also feel a little bit selfish and stingy. So the six of wands is, I think that they have um, had a lot of success in their life. They've had a lot of um opportunities to rebuild their wealth or to get back to a place of security. And I don't think they're ready to release that. So that could be the downside that I was just about to say that this person's downfall. That could be the downside to this person. Some of you were like, nope, can't do it. Ten of swords, right? It was going so great, right? However, there are those of you who are like, I'm not trying to end things with this person, but this definitely creates a lot of frustration here with the tower. It creates these tower moments. It creates these arguments about money and what I'm spending. And I feel like someone here is attached to money or attached to material things with the devil here. So I do feel like this person feels very too good to be true. They are serious about having a future with you, but I do feel like there's something disappointing here about this person that is going to be a big letdown. Like they talk a good one, cancers, and I do feel like they want a few, but they want things to be their way. They want a future with you, but they want you to be dependent on them or they, or there's something here. Look at this tower and this devil. Look at these energies, right? This is like destructive, right? So this person's ego and this person's, um, this, their attachment to their material wealth or funds can be destructive to this connection. It can actually make you not interested in them if they're stingy, right? With the four of cups. All right. So the eight of swords here, a lot of you may feel like I was tricked. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking that this person, yeah, some of you are, are definitely eight of cups going to reconsider this person. Um, they feel very um attractive and ready to have a new beginning with you they have the ace of cups the eight of wands but this feels like a slow like <laughs> like they're starting to digress into um something that you're not interested in and the eight of cups feels like you may sort of threaten to deal with other people or leave this person alone and that may be what sort of gets them okay i'll share okay okay look at this 
Okay, okay, okay. I'll compromise, right? Why is this Eight of Cups here for Cancers? The Two of Swords. Yeah, some of you are like, nope. You're you're stingy. You're not. You know, you you're telling me I need to pay for myself or something here, right? This is a very specific scenario, but I do feel like somebody is wanting to walk away and they are going to stop you before you get too far. Cancer, Three of Pentacles. Um, they're going to explain to you why they could be so frugal. Yes, explanation. This was what I just saw at the bottom of the deck for their explanation. They're going to explain to you why they're so frugal, why they don't trust romantic partners or something, but they're willing to start over with you, right? So there is going to be great conversation that leads to sort of why, you know, them saying something like, will you go out with me? You're like, sure. And they're like, make sure they're going to be like something offensive, <laughs> right? The Knight of Swords can sometimes talk without thinking. And the King of Swords is like somebody that is going to say something and sort of stand in that whatever they're saying, right? They're being honest, but it's blunt and it's kind of hurtful or offensive. And so, so I feel like they're going to make it clear to you why they have an issue with sort of um, sharing their resources. OK, why is this fool here? Um, the page of wands. OK, so a lot of you will be what turn changes this person's mind. Three of wands to thinking, you know. Cancer deserves, you know, cancer deserves to be treated out or cancer deserves something nice and wonderful. I don't want to keep them from that, right? Let me see what I can do, <laughs> right? The three of wands. So they feel like they've put in all this work for you. They're not going to let it go, right? Three of wands. They've manifested you. You feel perfect to them. This feels like a soulmate connection. They're going to make you a look, financial offer, you want to go out to eat to the most expensive restaurant, let's do it, right? They may be slow to make this offer with that Knight of Pentacles there. Even when you get there, they may sort of have some type of budget. But I do feel like they want to impress you, Cancer. This person is going to ask you out. Okay, you are getting an offer. They're going to ask you out. Um, Seven of Wands. Um, I do feel like this person has a lot of defensiveness to them. This this feels like for those of you who have someone new or have someone who is still working on their life and doesn't have everything they want in their life right now. So I do feel like they're going to be offended if you say no or offend like, oh, I don't make enough money for you or I'm not good enough for you, something like that. Um, yeah. So why is this tower here for cancers? Why is this tower here? Why is this tower here? King of Wands. Interesting. King of Wands. So there's a tower moment that I feel puts the pressure on this person to be a little more warm, all right? Um, be a little more giving, be a little more generous. Six of Swords to offer you something that um, is going to be a little bit more Four of Cups. Um... This person, it's it's a toss up, Cancers. I'm gonna be honest. It's a toss up with this person. Um, it could work. You guys have a lot in common. There is a spiritual connection here, but this there's something about the material world that has this person paranoid that they will not be able to give you the, a type of life they feel you you want that you want right they may not even be judging this right right but king of swords know it all so you can't tell them anything but this this person is not a great listener right so you could be saying look i don't want all of these things i just want time you know and this person is not listening um the four of cups feels like um someone says f it you know it was great we had a good run but see the Ten of Cups, like I said, it's a toss up. We go from a Four of Cups to a Ten of Cups. So 
for those of you that stick it out with this person, right? For those of you that go the long haul, the distance with this person, take this journey with this uh person here. It feels like they could turn out to be everything you wanted in a partner. Some of you don't want to do that. You're like, no, seven of wands. I'm going to stand up for myself. I deserve expensive dates. I deserve, you know, what I deserve. Um, You know, I give gifts. I'm, I don't have a problem treating my person, right? Why do you have a problem? So I do feel like money is going to become an issue, which is interesting because you guys do have this spiritual connection where it feels like this person should be above it, but they do have material attachments. Um, they could even be superficial with that king of wands, right? There's something about money and their superficialness that I feel ultimately turns you off. So this person um, may not be, they may be your soulmate, but they may need to grow up. Right. So the star is like, I mean, it could work out with this person, but, you know, we'll see kind of that energy death. I said it's a toss up. This is a very confusing situation, mainly because I feel like you have somebody very interested in you, but also very stuck in their ways. Death is that change that needs to happen. Yes. Look, judgment. They're going to get a wake up call, though. Yes. Yeah, some of you, if you stick around. You're getting a husband, emperor at the bottom of the deck. You're getting somebody that's going to marry you, right? They're going to have a wake up call like, wow, I really just, you know, risked it all with cancer. Just, you know, uh, risk losing cancer just because I don't want to share my money or just because I'm scared of getting divorced again or having somebody steal from me again. I No, right? So someone is going to have a change of heart. I am going to say this person is very capable cancer of having a change of heart. It all is not lost. Okay. With this person. All right. So let's see what message comes through for you guys from this person for cancers. What messages come through? Um, we were moving too fast. Okay. So that could have been the excuse, you know, we were moving too fast. Um, it was, we, we had this deep connection initially, like it was starting off super deep. And then, you know, we started talking about things we may disagree on or things that were causing tension between us. It was getting very heated here. Um, loving you scares me. Absolutely. So I feel like this person has a lot of excuses. I choose you look at those conflicting messages, right? So this person is, um, they're not, they're possibly not used to someone who, um, they've met their match when it comes to you, I will say. And I feel like this person is used to resisting people and getting their way. They're used to sort of pushing back on people on what their beliefs are about. Should people, you know, pay for something about money or material things? And you're stepping in like, well, I'm a very traditional person. I think things should be done a certain way. You don't have to agree with me. But at the same time, this is a make or break in our connection, right? So you either show up <laughs> or you get left. And I think that's what this person decides is that, yeah, we got these differences and these challenges, but I'm going to choose cancer. I'm going to invest in cancer. It's definitely a toss up with this person, whether it's someone returning with that six of cups energy from your past or someone new. The energies here are not clear that this is going to be something long-term or stable, but it has all the elements that it can be. All right. So that is what I have for you, Cancer. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box.